Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, we've been having fun on the weekly. I'm telling you, I tried running that Peacock strat on stream today. It did not work as well as it did in the video. I'm happy I got the Peacock win when I did. The weekly pack is fun, but let's let's get some acclimation. With the, uh, and there have been some patches, by the way, but let's get some acclimation with the, uh, with the pack that's actually gonna come out at some point. That's not shade, okay? Because, hold on, let me think about this. I think we can do that. It's not shade. It's good that they're getting it as balanced as possible, okay? Let's be a, a pouting fireman. Man, I don't want to fight the fire. I didn't sleep well last night. We, we might be going a little off here. I mean, at least our team is better than that. And remember, the cockroach gets a buff from round one onwards. So now it's going to be a 4-6. I don't think we're ever going... I was going to say I don't think we're going long range with the cockroach. But now I'm like, well, if that's the case, then why do you have two kiwis frozen? What? Um... I'm going to run three Kiwis for now and freeze a strawberry. I think my future goal is not to have a big cockroach because the big cockroach is not going to stay big. It's going to get destroyed um, every time it goes back to the shop. We definitely lose this. That's okay. Um, so we have to buff something else. We'll probably sell the cockroach. But, you know, it did get us to 1-1 by default. I'm not sweating that. None of these animals really appeal to me. How about a jellyfish? Hear me out here. Take a kiwi. I'm not really sold on a jellyfish, but I think this could be an interesting opportunity at least. So we buy a jellyfish. It gets a buff from the kiwi existing. Good timing. Um, we give the jellyfish a strawberry. We sell our level two kiwi. Oh my god, but we gotta we gotta sell you first. It has to be done. I hate to do it, but it has to be done. And then you need the kiwi to, to hit the jellyfish. So you're going to be a we have one seven ten on our team. That doesn't seem that bad. And then what about a clownfish that also synergizes on level up? And a pug that, at the very least, can give us a buff per turn if we get a unit to level 1.5. It's a little scuffed, okay? But I, I think that we puzzled it out and actually made some good decisions. Definitely a little bit spooked uh, about this yak here, but, like, not that spooked. That, that actually kind of went off. Okay. At some point, we do want to go, like, strawberry style. But no, I don't know if any of these other units are sticking around. But you know what? I think you can go Puffin. I think you can add a Strawberry. Let's just put it on our Clownfish for now. We could have added another one, but I was kind of hoping for a level up. I'm going to go Sicko Mode. I'm going to pay three gold for two health. I'm not, I'm not uh, that into it, but I'm going to... Look, I still think this Pug, with both a Jellyfish and a Clownfish, it carries some value. We buffed the unit I did not want to buff, but that's okay. We're still looking... We're looking great, actually. I gotta remember, Strawberry meta early in the in the default pack 3 is actually pretty great, I think. We, we came across that earlier. Well, here's the deal. I mean, like, if you wanted... But I don't want to sell a... I don't want to sell a hummingbird that gives 2-2 two, two just to get two one one buffs temporarily from a salamander and then rework our whole squad to be about start of battle. I think that's a pass me unless you think you want a cucumber here. For now, I don't think I do. Bro, really? I'm, I'm, I recognize we have three wins in four matches so far. That's actually pretty sick. We just would not mind seeing some animals that we've already seen. And you know, oh, dude, a cassowary. It, it at least has some scaling. Just work. I was hoping we would get something like this in there. Maybe you get a bed. We just want to level up, man. Okay. I don't know. The puffins are going to do four damage. I still think this jellyfish can do some work. But from this point onwards, we're on like a cassowary, uh, a cassowary timer. 
you probably don't know what I mean because it's not a phrase that makes any sense. Basically, there's an opportunity cost associated with having not taken the cassowary on round one. Or the, the first round it showed up. But this is why we did it, so that we could possibly get jellyfish and clownfish to, to do something valuable. <laughs> Just to put it frankly. And now, okay, so now we got a 5-7 puffin, and our jellyfish also got statted. Do we add a cassowary that gets 1-1, one, one, or do we add a praying mantis that can start to do some stuff? Or do you add a pug, and the pug can buff you, and then you'll get... You'll get... You'll get 3-3 three, three on the... In battle. Which is... You know what? Just work with me here, okay? Woo! No mantis? I'm, I'm going no mantis like a fool. Add a cassowary so we get a buff at least. And then we probably want to talk about more strawberries. A jellyfish that levels up is good. A clownfish? I don't know. A cassowary? Yes. More strawberries? Okay, we got the whole shop frozen. Because we have a plan, now would be a great time to not lose a round. My levels, please. Hold on, I'm cracked. Many people are saying I'm the best that's ever done it. We actually are making a clownfish and a jellyfish not horrible, which is news to me. So we need you to level. You're going to get a, a very nice buff off of that. Honestly, you are no longer necessary then. I guess we could buff you, but... Um, the shoe bill, on the other hand, is going to buff all strawberry friends. That seems very valuable. I think for now, let's get a puffin going. I guess we should freeze this puffin. We, we would like to keep a strawberry frozen as well. Am I insane? This seems like totally fine. We've created like a pseudo penguin build. 13, 18 jellyfish. Is that enough? Mm, probably not when you also see a, uh, a 12, 19 hummingbird. But I think honestly their toad did most of the work for them there. I still think this squad can, can do something impressive. Genuinely. Now we need to see what we want to see, but keep this is a big one. If we don't see a puffin, we buy a if we don't see a cassowary or a clownfish, we buy a strawberry. No cassowary, no clownfish. We're full in on strawberries. Um just give me one of these. It makes our puffin better, it makes our shoe bill better. It makes the squad better. Please, I'm not ready to go. I'm not ready to go. Nice shot! <laughs> nice shot! What the heck? Nothing happened. Okay, we're still living. Dude, this has been a pretty good round. This feels tighter. It feels more well-balanced than it used to be. So I do... I want levels. Don't get me wrong. But we also want to see... Come on, a level? We have so many things won away. We got so many things won away. Now you're going to level up. You're going to get a huge buff. The jellyfish is going to get a little buff. The shoe bill is about to level up if we're able to live a little bit longer. The cassowary really needs one to catch up with the rest of the squad. But we got something going on here. Eep. That's a strong unit, man. Never mind. We're not sweating it. Are you seeing this? We, we accidentally got the perfect strawberry team, and that's allowed me to achieve a new personal best of uh, six wins. We're looking for... We want a strawberry, don't get me wrong, but a cassowary or a shoe bill would beat it. No chocolates coming for us, so... And we're kind of pot committed on the squad right now. A cassowary. Yeah, I don't know why I thought a strawberry would be better here. Cassowary is going to rip, and that's going to help out our jellyfish, and it's going to get a buff out there. Yeah! <laughs> then we're gonna get the White House and then we're gonna go Wah! okay hold on I'm still scared but we actually have kind of made the squad work the way we want it holy cow your, your good green pepper unit not that scared of this iguana man great great job seven wins feeling good obviously we do want one more strawberry clownfish or Shoe bill would be incredible right now. I keep you frozen at least. A velociraptor would also hit the spot. I'll add a jellyfish. Like, I don't think you're hidden level three, but you never know. There's a better thing to do than overwriting any of our existing foods, I think. How much damage is this 
Puffin doing? It did 30 damage in one hit. Holy cow, dude. No, my timing. My or my mathematics. We were so close still. Seven wins with that team. I'm I'm pretty happy. That felt like a great start. It was a pretty hands-off build, too. Um I don't mind running two one fours that I know will be two fours next round. I just don't believe in the power of a duck like at all. Let's put a two three at the front to help us out, and maybe an iguana as well. Let's be a overexcited package. An overexcited monk that could be like a Monty Python sketch, like a monk who's really excited to have a vow of silence. Wait, does this is the seahorse different now? Oh, it, it it hits at the start of battle instead of on faint. We draw. So an iguana actually it, it hits the one damage for sure. Okay, you guys are stronger now. We've paid the the toll. No strawberries. We'd take you for a level up, honestly. That doesn't bother me. And then I mean, okay, let me think about this. When I combine you, you're basically gonna set your attack to three. Do I want you to have more HP? Probably not. Most likely you need to stick around. I mean, right now a seahorse at least has some attack. Let's let's, let's spend three gold on basically uh, trying to get a win this round. This seems totally fine right now. In fact, it seems better than totally fine. It seems kind of incredible. So I think the cockroach could kind of be like an early game viable unit right now. Now, you guys say you're attacked at two. We knew that already. We're going to level you. Now you're temporarily going to be a 4-6. When you knock something out, push the last enemy to the front. Works one time per turn. For now, I'm going to take you. You technically give a 1-1 one, one buff. Like, you're like a temporary giraffe, but showing up much earlier, obviously. I think the yak actually has some potential. Like, it, it can scale itself a bit. Let's put you in front of the donkey. We probably would like you to have more HP in the long run. I don't think you just need it for hurt triggers anymore. I think you can be happy with it as like a 4-6 that just does what it does. I don't think any squad is going to have better stats than us right now. They might have better... Uh, Effects than us, but I don't think they're gonna have better stats, man. We're popping. Are you seeing this? We're popping. Didn't even have to use our cockroach, which will now become a 3 6, which I still think is workable, but. Unbuy. Summon a 1 1 guinea pig. It's like this is level juice. But we're not too worried about that. For now, I guess we are worried about a, an iguana. The jellyfish was fine for us last time, but I have a hard time believing that's going to continue. Take some HP. I did think about bird plus strawberry, but I think I'm going to roll past. Yak could use it. Iguana will level up and then possibly be fodder. Okay. Okay. So we're not going strawberry build. If we're not going strawberry build, what the heck are we looking for? I think right now we're doing the Magic the Gathering deck called Good Stuff. Uh, is it going to work? I don't know. They do have a 10-13. That's pretty strong. They got an 11-14. That's pretty strong. I don't think it's going to work. I think we're going to draw. Holy cow. Who would have thought? We can take that. So we're, we're basically looking for good units, which is like... Kind of a gimme, but... A pelican that buffs 2-2? Two, two? I think we could talk about that. Now, I think you guys are... Well, I don't know. You're 4 attack, not 3 attack. I might get rid of a... I might get rid of a seahorse. And we're just playing a stat-based game right now. I'd get rid of a seahorse before you. We'll add a yak to the squad. We're looking for pelican plus strawberry, really. So... A pelican at least has uh, stats associated with it. <laughs> I think a pelican that feeds a yak is our is our game plan moving forwards. Our gold was just sort of stuck there. So the yak is going to get w one life and three attack per turn with our current setup, which is kind of, if you'll allow me to say it, I think it's kind of pog. We definitely lose this one. Yeah, the I don't you know what. 
We definitely lose this one. Okay, I think it was a 50-50 shot. If the first ant had hit the, the backline bird, I think we draw instead, but that's life, man. And then check this out, okay? A strawberry on our yak. The pelican's guaranteed to hit the yak. Sell, honestly, you're all gone. But let's start with the cockroach. It has no upside. Now the cassowary is at least getting 1-1 one, one per turn as well. I feel like a cucumber is like half decent, but I don't know which units are actually going to stick around. And if I'm like, dude, honestly, if we're in buy-sell territory, why don't we sell an iguana? Buy a starfish. Because we're looking for buy-sells. And then you're going to buy, you're going to sell a donkey. You're going to buy a mouse. You're going to sell the mouse and you're going to get two triggers out of it. You're going to buff your freaking yak. You're going to move that son of a gun to the front. And we're going to put a capybara out here. They actually nerfed the capybara, which is very funny to me because everybody told me every time I used it that it's garbage. Well, who's laughing now? On roll, it buffs unfrozen shop animals. Okay. Um, this is not atypical, but a 1914 uh, bird is going to be very hard for us to get around. Fair enough. What are we on? Like... Four life? Four life? At least we're not on lethal. We can build this. I'm not upset. I would love to see a yak. That would be a big one. Um, no stat swapping required, I'd say. On faint, you do give strawberry friends a bonus, but that's really hard for us to take advantage of. Don't really need to swap your stats with anything. Although, maybe... If I... I don't know. You are a 5-2... It's not that much worse than a 2-5, I guess. I just don't know what I would want to swap the Yak stats to. Something with a good effect. Technically, I, I, I think I'm just bailing on the Starfish plan. I don't know if the order is going to work out right for us here. Maybe if we set it up like this, because I think they go left to right, so our Frog would swap and then our Eel would add 50% HP. And we have a 5-2 Yak. Who cares? Because the Eel's getting the bonus, really. So we could go to a level 2 Frog, which would allow us to trade stats permanently. And you know what? For now, we're going to buy a Frog, because it should guarantee the Frog effect goes before the Eel, which is necessary for this plan to make any sense. <laughs> I'm not necessarily fully convinced that we're going the distance in this one, but I feel like we've at least come up with an interesting idea. Okay, now you're a 14-15. Actually seems like this sort of worked, right? And we can cause, with the level 2 frog, we can cause those stats to switch permanently and then put a real unit in there. Which we're going to do. Or, would we rather swap stats with a lion... And then it would be a, instead of a 6-6 six, six lion. No, because eel, oh, eel's level 4. Instead of a 6-6 six, six lion, it would be a 14-10 lion. <clears throat> <clears throat> Pardon me. The problem is, you know what? I think it's good. I, but are you really willing to sell like a cassowary? Because we don't want to sell the eel, do we? Well, the eel's not getting any buffs. Unless we get another frog, quite frankly, which could totally happen. I think it, this is a weird one. I think it's like a sell the cassowary, a 4-6 gaining 1-1 one, one versus a 4-5 that gives us 2-2. Two, two. Buy a kiwi, buff the yak a little bit more. Buy a, buy a lion, swap stats of two adjacent friends. Now I do, you know what, I want an eel, but first... Why don't we buy a mouse, sell it for the apple? We're going to buff the lion still. We're just going to add another eel to the squad. I mean, the eel just exists right now. If we get it to level two, though, it, it could have some efficiency for us. And we got to be a little stingy with our animals because we can only take level fours and below now. Otherwise, we blow up our lion. And I gotta tell you, 2419 is probably not good enough to do what we're trying to do. It's so close, though. We need the lion to, to get a little stronger. But still, it's, it's interesting, the build. 
Everybody could use some HP, but we should do this first. Because we're going to... We, we want one more unit to be here, basically. Now, I, don't, I don't think the leech is... Unless it activates a hurt trigger, I don't think it's doing enough. There is a part of me that says, you know what? It, worst case scenario, you can turn your a yak that's going to be a 12-8 into a 12-8 eel, which would actually be a 12-12 eel if we have to. We'd love to see an eel here. No eel. I think it's too late to rely on the shoe bill ability, unfortunately. So let's add a frog. I mean, this is insane, but let's add a frog here. And we don't want to swap anybody's stats, I think. Level two yak, you, you've got my interest. A green pepper, you've got my interest. Probably we're not taking the pelican at this point because we're on lethal on round nine. We, the pelican should probably go, honestly. So it's, it's just an interesting team that we got here right now. You got a green pepper, huh? That's unfortunate for me. Is the rest of your squad detritus? Not really. <laughs> okay. Something about that didn't feel right. What happened? Did I get sniped? Is that what happened to my eel? But I felt like we were at least using our brain for a time there. I think food buffs might be the way, man. So, like, you would take a mouse, you would take a kiwi, and then look for a strawberry, plus an animal that would benefit from getting a strawberry, which, if I'm being straight up with you for the moment, may actually be a pill bug. Let's be a slippery housewife. This squad should not win round one, but that's okay. I'm not going to cry or whatever. We're going to draw. That's fine. I love it. Um, maybe it's not a pill. We have to think about how we're going to run this. I think you want a bird. And then you want a strawberry on something that's going to stick around. Which would be a pill bug. But then we want our pill bug to buff the units most likely to stick around. And we're freezing you to go up a level and then sell you next turn. Why are these the units most likely to stick around? Because we're definitely selling our Kiwis. Now, here's the question. Would you rather get a level out of your Kiwis or would you rather sell... We lose this, by the way. Would you rather sell two, buy one, and sell the third? And then that would... I mean, in terms of magnitude, selling three gives you more. Well, what about in terms of a freaking jellyfish, though? Okay, hold on. I'm going back on what I said earlier for a second here. Sell the... Mouse. Add a jellyfish. Combine your kiwis. Sell your kiwi. To buff your pill bug. You got your nice bonus, which is not actually that nice. Uh, now, an adder is just so bad. Why do I want you to do one damage to the pet ahead and gain one HP? You become a fourth... Like, it has to hit a hurt trigger for this to make any sense. And it doesn't right now. So I, I'm not taking you. Obviously, we're going to take an apple. Let's apply to the jellyfish. Don't let this gaslight you, by the way, into thinking that the jellyfish is actually good. I just have been trying to make it work. Also, you might be of the mind that you think you've outsmarted the game, okay? You think, well, what about an adder... Sorry, a leech? That hits a dove. Okay, well, then in four rounds, you get 1-1 one, one on... Your, all your strawberry pets. So what is that? If you want to hit like three pets, you've spent, I don't know, a thousand gold and four turns trying to get a buff that's just like inconsequential in the whole scheme of things. It's just, it's too much. I think Dove plus Mantis can work, but you know, we might as well try to get you to level, at least give ourselves some jellyfish effects. Sure, okay. That also gives us two apples, which is actually kind of sick. We'll give both apples to the jellyfish. Which is not doing much right now, but... <laughs> you know, it's the thought that counts or whatever. Seven, let's do it like that. This squad is really bad, but it is also still super early. You remember, like, you take more damage as time goes on when you lose, so... As bad as this is right now, and it is really bad, we're not sunk yet. It's just, so I still, I don't know if you know this, I still have a toad on my team. We still would have lost, but like, 
you know, it, it hurts a little bit. I'm not going to deny it. <laughs> what the heck, man? Is he just like nothing to you? All right, you don't have to be here anymore. On faint, you give experience. You know, there's a case in my head where that makes sense. You're never going to get this thing to faint before a panda, so I wouldn't even worry about that. I would roll again. Okay. We're going to throw a 2-6 back up to the front here. <sighs> give, all, give friend behind one experience. My dream, of course, is that we get a temporary level that makes our jellyfish get a buff. Or we can get a mantis and maybe then the jellyfish can start popping. Although there is a part of me that's like... That's fine. Thanks for the experience. There's a part of me that's like, we got to win some rounds for that to actually matter. Otherwise, we're going to be dead very soon. Okay. One win, baby. We made it. Not interested. Mantis. We need to get a level up for it, but Mandel Bomb. Mandel Bomb. Honestly, I think our bird is coming pretty close to checking out, but it does get us close to a, a level in theory. Okay, it got us to a level. This is a little weird, but... Um, yeah. Our bird will get a level, which will then give our jellyfish a 2-2 buff. That's not a ton, but it's something. It's something. It is. And we're actually living with a two for one as a result. Holy cow, you're gonna summon a unit though, be careful. A panda, let's go, baby. All right, then now you're thinking. Right, pill bug was not placed optimally, but that's okay, because it's garbage right now anyway. It shouldn't be on the squad. Okay, jellyfish gets a two, two. The toad is doing work for us. The bird is basically making our pill bug an 8-10, but admittedly, for the cost of three gold, we could put a strawberry on our jellyfish and feel better. Now, we're still rolling <laughs> for some reason. I would, I would definitely do this, and then I would say roll me. I would say sell me. And for this round... I would basically pay for a pair on our on our jellyfish. Now, I, we probably want it set up like this now. We legitimately have one good unit on our team. Um, and the toad. The toad has a great effect. Its stats are not good right now, but it has a great effect. I don't think this is as bad as it looks right now. Mm, that's really bad. I thought we were, we were like one one it. Holy cow, we draw these, baby! Let's go! <laughs> still in it! We still want more level ups for the jellyfish, okay? None of these appeal to me that much. A jellyfish does. A bird, I kind of think like you're going to be gone soon, but we can freeze you for a second. Let's just see, okay? I love the idea of a man. Um, okay, we have to... You give a 4-4 four, four for a round, you give a 2-2 two, two permanently. I have to say goodbye to the bird, I'm sorry. But then to get a permanent jellyfish level up is actually very meaningful to me, I think. And then to have another one around is probably nice as well. Why don't we give you a cucumber? It's so late, we should just wait for a green pepper on you. For now, let's just have you hopefully get a one-for-one one trade out of this. So we, if we play our cards right, we might have two good units soon. But we have to live long enough for it to matter. Our toad died, which is horrible news. And there's the effect of that. We, honestly, we weren't that... Um, all credit to the gamer that beat us. We weren't that far off. Big kill. Okay. I would, I would pay two gold. For a 1-2 buff on our best unit. Now, worst case scenario, we can pop you out there. I know people would want the Anteater as well. We just need to make sure the order is good here. I do want you to have a green pepper, but maybe not yet. <laughs> um, I mean, actually, like, overall, <laughs> I think I would... 
I want my Mantis to level up faster if possible. Maybe everybody take three attack for now. This is the way the order has to be, which is a, a bit of a nightmare. Yeah, I'm not feeling too great about it, but... Or am I? No, I don't. Well, no, I don't think I am. Although we got the cheese damage, so we should presumably draw. Okay. It's not that bad. Still in it. We would love our Toad to level up as well, but Mantis first. I gotta be honest, you guys need HP. Let's send that out there. So many jellyfish, man. Holy cow. You're a great unit, don't get me wrong. Dude, what the heck is going on? We're getting like non-stop, uh, non-stop fish. Maybe the fish could do it for us? Maybe! I know we're missing a jellyfish trigger here, but it's for the greater good. I feel like we're not not chilling. I feel like we're chilling. Holy cow. This team, I never would have expected a team that looks like this to get to three wins. I would have been like, it's done. It's over. 17, 12. I still don't think you need the green pepper. So we could get a lion out there, but hear me out. The lion's kind of boring. Let's put mantis so it buffs a toad. It gives us permanent jellyfish upgrades yet again. Now, I think you've got to go. You're giving us a 2-2 buff every turn. And then you don't need a strawberry anymore, which means you can have a green pepper. I know you're so far back that this is like, it looks horrible, but this is the way the order has to be for us right now. I love that for us. And honestly, you give me the chance. Yeah, I'd rather add like a... I'd rather add a 9-9 a nine -nine lion at the rear. Our order is all screwed up, but it's screwed up to facilitate something that's not screwed up. Something that's very screwed on. Okay, we're ruining our cheese, unfortunately. That's okay, though. That's okay because of weakness. The toad's going to get a trade. Mm, no. Yes. Yeah, we draw. Okay. So hang in tough, man. Hang in tough. The toad levels up. We get a permanent bonus. You're at 2116. If I'm being honest, I kind of like you still doing the double damage. Now, I'd love to have you... I still don't think you need the green pepper. I think you're doing fine as is. Although, technically, you do do double damage if you live through two attacks. You know what? Let's do it now. Okay, something with a good feint ability. I don't think it's the orca. This is basically a free animal. We have to do better than that. Um, an anteater is something. You could also get rid of your lion, don't forget. An anteater is something. And an anteater with popcorn, I don't know what would happen to it, okay? We're freezing them and we're still looking. No thank you. It's quite tempting, admittedly, but no thank you. I mean, if you just got a level, we'd be pretty stoked. Oh man, I kind of wish we stuck with our strawberry. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. This time, jellyfish at the front. Mantis must be at the very back. An anteater in front here. The toad has to be as far back as possible for peak usefulness. Let's get rid of this. I don't see our lion doing that much. If we get it to level two, maybe. But the anteater into the mantis with the green pepper might surprise some people. The toad order is very scuffed, though. My green pepper? Never mind. I think we're okay. We're okay. Alrighty. <laughs> it's take it bit by bit. Four wins. Four of the hardest wins I've ever aimed for in my entire life. You know you're selling the ant, but it's okay. Give friend a head one one multiply buff with turn number. I don't know. What do you think? Do you think a three gold 13 13 permanent bonus is that good? I think it might be pretty okay. So let's sacrifice the toad a little bit. No, let's do this in a different way. I want the buff to go to the lion because it gets the best benefit out of it. So let's just run Stegosaurus behind lion. It's going to get a 13 13 buff. That's crazy. But we want the mantis to kill it. The problem is I also want the toad at the back or as far back as possible. So you... You could give the buff to the Mantis instead, but it's so much better on the Lion. I'm willing to take a chance on this. 
it's less of a chance than like a guarantee that it's not as good as we would like. But again, this is basically a bet on the stats we're giving to the lion having more of an effect than the toad existing. I would make that bet sometimes. <laughs> My weakness, excuse me. Nice toad. I'm okay. Your toad is better than mine. You've made me learn the error of my ways. Your toad is better than mine. You've got a better. Uh, you've got coconut armor on it from a velociraptor. You got a vulture. Okay, and it's the hardest I've ever fought for four wins in my life. But I feel like as a result, we learned a lot. You don't learn that much when you just go flawless. When you get in that mix, you're like, okay, I, I respect it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm excited to do our next one. Click the like button if you did enjoy it. Subscribe if you want to see more in the future. I'll see you next time. See ya!